bad man can kill. New West Audio Fib preamp. Are you ready to try it? Yes. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to Miss Best TV from me and Bella, hello everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. Before we start, please check the info box down below for my mixing courses on ProMix Academy, free plugins, special discounts and offers, and of course, link to the new West Audio Fib preamp. And if you really want to learn how to mix and master professionally, click the join button down here, become a Mixbus TV member, access the already big and always growing library of full mixing courses, start to finish on so many different genres, mastering courses, and a lot more. And if the videos are helping you, please consider using the super thanks and support the channel. Of course, follow our superstar artist Bella Kelly. A new EP is coming out soon. Today we try the new West Audio Fib preamp. 100% analog digitally controlled, inspired by a classic British design, full class A path. Two transformers in it, the unit is already in the rack and Bella is gonna sing for us today. You ready? Yes. Let's go. The new West Audio Fib is a 500 series mic line instrument preamp. Inspired by a classic British design, its class A signal path is 100% analog, digitally controlled, just like all the other West Audio products. It has not one, but two genuine carnal transformers, one for the input, one for the output. With touch sensitive controller, what you move on the hardware, it mirrors on the plugin and vice versa. And you can save and recall presets. We have 75 dB of gain available enough to fuel any microphone from an SM7 to the ribbon mics for which we also have an impedance button this will bring the impedance from 1200 to 300 to match for example passive ribbon microphones we also have a face button and the 48 volts phantom power on the front panel you have a and b so you can store right here without even using the plugin two different settings that you can recall from the front panel. At the bottom, we have the proprietary iron pad to trim the output level of the preamp if you wanna drive it and get more color from the two cardinal transformers. Yes, both, because the pad comes after the output transformer. We have a combo XLR quarter inch here in the front and when you plug a quarter inch cable, it automatically recognizes that you're using the front connectors. Here on the plugin, we have the VU meter and the exact level of our preamp here on the display. And we have all the buttons mirrored here that we have on the actual unit. Without further ado, let's give this a try. All right, with this being a transformer based preamp, I'm expecting that the more we're gonna drive the input, the more color we get. So with Bella behind the microphone, we're using an Austrian Audio OC A18. She's gonna sing the same part several times. Each time we're gonna increase the input and compensating with the pad and see what kind of color we get. After that, we're gonna quickly test the SM7, which is a microphone that historically requires a lot of gain and see how the FIB performs. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. Taste a cup stick on those cherry blossom lips. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. No more shade of red and move on to the next. Now I'm gonna change settings. We are a 45 gain and zero pad. I'm just gonna try to boost it like let's say about 10 dB and pad it. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. Taste a cup stick on those cherry blossom lips. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. Now my shade of red and move on to the next. Let's do another path so we are approaching like hard saturation. So let's do one with 60 dB of gain. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. Taste a cup stick on those cherry blossom lips. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. Now my shade of red, move on to the next. We definitely, definitely hear those transformers working already. We are gonna uh, compare the three files in a minute, but 
we can definitely hear the color and the more you drive it the more saturation and harmonic distortion you get from this preamp let's quickly try the sm7 and see how it performs with a mic that requires a lot of gain all right with the sm7 the first pass is going to be a 55 db of gain that's like the bare minimum level to get this mic going with no pad bella you ready yeah you know what you're doing you know how you're moving Taste like a stick on those cherry blossom lips. You know what you're doing, you know how you're moving. Now my shade of red, move on to the next. The combination with the SM7 and the British style preamp always, always work. It sounds great. But as we can see, even if we have 10 dB more gain with the first pass compared to the OCA18, we are a little lower. So the second pass, we are going 65. And we're gonna pad it, let's say 5 dB, and let's see how it sounds. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. Taste a cup stick on those cherry blossom lips. You know what you do when you know how you're moving. Not my shade of red, move on to the next. Definitely love this combination. It's got a lot of grit, a lot of body really really nice preamp and it sounds great with the sm7 let's do the last pass all the way up 75 db again and we pad let's say 12 db should be about right you ready baby yeah you know what you do when you know how you're moving taste dark lipstick on those cherry blossom lips you know what you do when you know how you're moving now my shade of red move on to the next right on the verge this sounds really really good i love this preamp you have a lot of range to fairly clean with low settings and the more you drive the input the more color you get and what a color very surprised how it makes a simple sm7 although a great mic sound absolutely great on this preamp packed with features digitally controlled for example for this one i'm just gonna pad it like at 14 and i can save this preset Bella SM7 and save it and here we have our preset another great piece of gear from S Audio the link it's going to be in the info box down below remember this is also an instrument DI so you use the transformers for any direct instruments that you want to record and also a line level preamp so you can run tracks from your DAW into it and use again the Cardinal transformers for saturation but I want to hear what you guys think about this preamp let me know in the comments down below the link to the West Audio Feeb is going to be in the info box thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't already see you next time Bella